Hey everybody, it's Jada and Ira with KidBadger.com here to tell you about our Memorial Day adventure. On Memorial Day, our three-day weekend, we drove up here and wanted to go camping. So we tried to drive as far as we can, but the road was blocked with a bunch of snow. So we had to kind of backtrack a bit and park back here. Um, so after that, we kind of packed up all our stuff and started hiking. On the hike up, we ended up having to cross like a bunch of little streams and stuff. There was a bunch of snow and it was really cool because like the snow would cut under the, well the water, the streams would cut under the snow. So it would look like it was just a bunch of snow. And then if you walked through it over it, you would go Poof. Thankfully we didn't do that and we didn't fall in, but. <laughs> so we hiked up to our campsite and about two miles from the trailhead and set up our tent and did a little fishing. If you saw a 30 pound catfish in the water, would you just move? Mm, I'll pass. I'll just wait, wait next year. No. It's all a little trouble. We ended up gathering and cutting wood with my new axe that we got, and it worked surprisingly well, and we pretty much just cut down an entire, well, Dad cut down like an entire dead tree and chop it, chop it up. We had a lot of firewood after that. That night we ended up cooking ramen as well as hot dogs and marshmallows. It was kind of like cup of noodle in a way. I like to eat our ramen. The rock. It's not gonna help. Hey, Jada. I tried to sabotage your hot dog. Make it. You tease me. You get the hot dog. <gasps> Wait and see, Jada.
after that, we checked our fishing line and we brushed our teeth and went to bed. Got up the next morning, went exploring. While we were exploring, we found a snake den that was full of gardener snakes, and we caught one of them. It's pretty cool because I got to hold one of them. Can they bite? Uh, no. Their mouth's too small. Nice. Good catch. Hello, Mr. Snake. Can I see him? Yes, yes. I think there's like a nest of them under here. I, I might. That might make sense. Trevor, can I hold it? Yeah, you can hold it. Just let him go after. And don't squeeze him, okay? I never hold, I never held a gardener snake that big. Good I have. catch. Probably bigger. Mm -hmm. Problem solving. For lunch, we had another fire and roasted some more hot dogs. That afternoon, we built forts and boats out of sticks. And I built a pretty cool um, outrigger, and we floated it out in the water. It was pretty cool. And we all made forts. Very fun. Don't get too cocky, Dad.
That evening, we made our ramen and roasted some hot dogs and marshmallows. I think I roasted the best marshmallows, but Ira, of course, doesn't agree. Though, mine were way better. Um, that night, when we went to bed, we got our sleeping bags, and Peanut came in, and he laid on Ira's legs, and Ira was like, who put a bowling ball on my legs? And we are like, that's Peanut. And it's like, oh. So we just kind of moved Peanut between dad and Ira's legs and keep in mind that this was in a two-man tent three people and a dog in a two-man tent it was very crammed and kind of uncomfortable especially for the people on edges and yeah I slept quite good in the morning we woke up and started packing up camp and then we got everything ready and we started hiking down there was a lot of snow than I remembered, but we made it through and got to the bottom. All in all, it was a really fun trip. As our dad says, every time we go backpacking, it's a new time to learn something. And what I learned is, well, most people probably know this, but a nice big roasting fire is a good thing to dry off freezing wet shoes. And if you're not careful, burn a hole in the back of them. That's what happened to me. We left them on there too long or just put it too close and now I have a small little hole in the back of my shoe. What I learned is that our dog, Peanut, is a very good hiking dog. Yeah, it was actually Peanut's very first hiking trip with us, and he did very well. It was really fun on the hike up, because he was like, ha, 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 And then he walked by this log, and so when the s snow falls in the logs, like right here, it like kind of makes it so there's an empty spot, pocket under it. So Peanut was walking, and then it, he just went, and like half of his body was stuck under that log, like in the crevice, and then got out, was, we, were, we were all laughing. All in all, it was a really fun trip, and I loved it. Same here. This, like many trips, I was kind of resistant to set off. Like, I was kind of hoping for a weekend where I could play with my friends. But this, like most trips, was a really fun trip. Once we got up there, I had a lot of fun. Like, I invented this game called Tiger, and we played that a lot. It was really fun. It's pretty much where one person's the tiger and the other pe people are people, and they have to run away from the tiger. And we played Cowboys with Pine Cones. It was really fun. And, yeah, like, most of our, all of our trips are like that. Like, sometimes we don't really want to go, but once we get up there, it's so much fun. And, yeah. Like he said, it was a very fun trip. And I love spending time with everybody. And, yeah. As always, thanks for joining us at KidBadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.